Yes, Jesus. Yes, Jesus. Yes, Jesus. Lord, we just partner with your glory right now. We partner with your glory. We partner with your glory. Yes, Jesus. The Lord says the tears of the remnant have paved way for my glory to come forth. Hallelujah. Lord, we thank you. The repentance, the repentance, the repentance, the repentance, the repentance. Hallelujah. The Lord says, the Lord says that some would say the entire United States needs to repent and fall flat on their face before the Lord God himself would come. But I say that is false even in my word. For I always use a remnant. And I have always used the remnant, and I shall use the remnant once again. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. <laughs> For even I sent Elijah, and he turned around because he dared to trust me and believe me. He turned around the hearts of many, for they saw that I truly am who I said I am. And he called on me for fire, and I answered him by fire. And you have called on me for fire. <laughs> and I am answering you in fire. For you have even seen in the spirit realm the states on fire, many fires. Hallelujah. Focus not on what the enemy is trying to do, but keep your eyes fixed on me, for I shall set this world on fire. It shall blaze and burn for me. They will turn their eyes and see. Ha mukura maha. Yeah, mosora abakasi on my sheet. And you will see it's even in greater. It is even in greater, for I said in greater works shall you do. For I go to the Father, it shall be greater than even the move of Elijah. Why? For it shall touch this entire earth. I have a remnant, not just in America, but all over this globe. And they have cried out to me. And I will answer them in fire. <laughs> do not cower and do not fear. For though your enemy stands tall and taller than Goliath, it was only one stone, one stone that took down the beast. <sighs> <laughs> the Lord said, Jesus said, do you see what I did there? <laughs> I do. I do, Lord. Because <laughs> you are the rock. <laughs> if I, I would have known that I would have put that down <laughs> for Sunday. Hallelujah. He was the rock. We know that David obviously had supernatural help in slaying Goliath, but the symbolism, Jesus saying, I was the rock that took down Goliath. Hallelujah. He said, and the Lord says, and I was the rock that gave water to the weary. Whew. 
Hallelujah, hallelujah. And that is why your obedience to me is important. For I was in the rock. Ooh. I was in the rock. When Moses struck it. And I love him dearly. But he was not able to see my promise land. Rest in your obedience to me, says the Lord. Take pleasure there. Because although you may not understand, mm, yes, hallelujah, the spirit wind of Holy Spirit said, and I don't always come the same way. Ooh, for you don't always understand why I ask you to go. But if you will go, you will see that my plans are always for you and they are not against you. And though they might seem strange, ooh, ooh. Yeah. if you will rest in knowing that I am faithful and that I am true, you will see. You will see victory. You will see victory. Ooh. You will see victory in me because I do not lose. I do not lose. <laughs> and I'm not losing this one. <laughs> try, try, try as you might, says the Lord. Mm. To those who oppose me. Mm. But you will not get one thing that you wanted. I shall continue to frustrate the plans of the enemy. Hallelujah, Jesus. Watch and see. Watch and see. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Watch and see, your God show up for you in great ways and great measures. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> hallelujah, hallelujah. <laughs> you did not pick the weak and losing team. Oh, <laughs> Rest, my beloved, for I've already told you a secret that we named him. <laughs> we named him the forever loser for a reason. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> and I am not a God who lies, for I am not a man. <laughs> <Ooh. sighs> Watch and see, says the Spirit of the Lord. Watch and see. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. She put that up on Sadie the other. She didn't be on that. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for your glory. Thank you for your glory. Thank you for your glory. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Thank you for your glory. Thank you, Jesus. Wow. Hallelujah. Wow. Yes. 
The presence of the Lord was so well. It's yeah. Woo. Yeah. Woo. the glory of God is like <sighs> actually Taylor, will you read the comments for me? Yes, I will. So uh go up. Uh, so Trisha said, hallelujah. Um, and Karen, I believe she put this right when, um, Kristen, you started sharing the word from the Lord, 947 there. So 1047 here. Um, I said, the prayers of the righteous availeth much for God does not give the spirit of fear, but of love, power, and a sound mind. Uh, Cecile said she, I hear the Lord saying winds of change. Hallelujah. That's that's interesting, Cecile, because during um, while Kristen was giving out that word from the Lord, the wind, I mean, it just like beat on my house. And so but it was enough for me to be like, wow, it's super windy out there. And then you put I hear the Lord saying winds of change. So hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Um, And then. I put Isaiah 43, 19 through 21. Listen carefully. I'm about to do a new thing. Now it will spring forth. Will you not be aware of it? I will even put a road in the wilderness, rivers in the desert. The beasts of the field will honor me, jackals and ostriches, because I have given waters in the wilderness and rivers in the desert to give drink to my people, my chosen, the people whom I formed for myself will make known my praise. And then Karen actually commented saying that this was also on the Bible app this morning. And I had no idea. So thank you, Lord, for your many confirmations. Uh, and Trisha said it was very windy here in South Texas yesterday. I told Chris and I was hearing the songs the song winds of change over this weekend confirmation with Cecilia. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord, for all your confirmations. Oh, you're so good. Uh, thank you for your victory. Jesus, you are victory and we are with you and we reign with you. And so we reign in victory. I just thank you, Lord, that we don't have to deal with the spirit of fear because you are love power and give us a sound mind. Oh, he's so good. I know there's a lot of people um, since me and Kristen are, are in, and Jim um, are, you know, in Ohio and around Ohio. There's a lot of people. Uh, actually, Denise, have you guys decided when you guys are coming back? We're coming back on Thursday. Okay. Well, I, I'm definitely, there's a lot of people in fear right now around here and I just I'm so glad we could all come together and pray and, and declare and decree that you know the enemy's not going to be able to come in into this weather into these storms and use it for destruction for death and for stealing our livelihoods and stealing what God has given us and I just thank you Lord for your protection your angelic host going forth to protect us going forth to thrash and trash the enemy this is a no-fly zone i thank you lord for your mercy and your loving kindness that gives us so much time to repent and turn to you and i pray that during this time while people are while people are worrying that they seek you that they come to you in prayer and that you encounter them and that they find your peace, Jesus, that they find you, that they find your salvation, that they find your joy, your love, your mercy, your grace, and that they come to you during this time. And then uh, Kristen, while Kristen was giving out the word of the Lord about the birth of the baby, how the head was out and we're at the shoulders. Um, I felt my spirit landslide um, because the thing I that attached to that for me was our baby's going to slide out once we get past these shoulders. So I'm just, hallelujah, Lord, thank you. Thank you for, for telling us before these things happen, for giving us joy. And while we face what people are saying 
is going to be a tragedy. We can stand here and join knowing who our God is, who you are, and that you are with us and you stand with us and you are not against us, but you are for us. And I just, I'm so, I'm just so grateful to have a group like everyone here and even those who couldn't make it um, because this was kind of a little last minute that we can come together and the righteous, our prayers avail much. And like Kristen said, you know, not all of the United States had to turn and repent. You know, it just took the righteous. And I'm just so grateful for everyone here. And um, I really, I I can't wait to see what the Lord, what the Lord does, because it's going to be like Kat Kerr says, get your popcorn, get your cake. It's going to be a show and I'm, I'm ready for it. <laughs> and, I, and I just thank you, Lord, for giving us your wisdom and giving us the ears to hear and the eyes to see the steps that you want us to take during this time. And I thank you, Lord, that we are your sheep. We will hear your voice and we will obey your voice and walk in it in Jesus name. Amen. Amen. Hey, Taylor. Hey, Jim. Hey, um, when Kristen was praying, um, when she came out of tongues and was praying in English and mentioned about how David brought down Goliath with a stone. And as soon as she said that, I just heard in my spirit, um, what what did David do after that? And the, re the, the, the revelation and the idea was painted within my, my soul that David had to pick up the very weapon that Goliath was using against his chosen to use it to cut the head off of the enemy. And I'm not very, I'm not a, I'm not completely sure what that revelation means and the way that it was said, the Holy Spirit said it within my spirit and why it was asked more in a question like that. Um, but I, I, I have an understanding of it seems that whatever this weapon is that is being used in society, or whether it's the, the media, whether it is the courts, whatever that is, once this Goliath is brought down by God's mercy and grace for his, his children that cry out for forgiveness and mercy for dropping um, the ball, the church for allowing this end of the earth and into our country that we cannot stop there, that it's actually going to take us lifting up the courts, lifting up the very things that they used against us and taking those. And we have to not show mercy, but to use it to cut off the head of that beast. And, um, but anyways, that was something that I wanted to bring up. Okay, you actually finished talking before I finished typing it, so I'll just say it. The Lord said um, it. how we do that is is re we, when we say return to sender. <clears throat> the Amen. very thing that your enemy tried to take you out with in the realm, return to sender. And yes, taking back the seven mountains, the seven mountains mandate, which we've been talking about a lot. Yep, Karen said boomerang. Exactly, return to sender. You give that command for the host to go forth and do everything but return to sender there let them fall on their own sword you know let them david didn't have a sword to take take off uh goliath's head but <laughs> goliath's sword is there well we're just gonna use it return to sender return to sender hallelujah lord we just thank you we thank you we thank you and we do say return to sender Everything with the enemy, yes, yes, Lord. Everything at the enemy, and yes, I do, I do remember this too. The Lord just saying many times that he said, the very thing that they tried to do to you, I'm going to let it fall on them. It's going to splash back in their face. The chemical they try to throw in your face is going to splash back in their own face. Whatever it is, a poison, whatever, they're going to, and the Lord has said many times that they are going to be forced to eat their own poison. Then he's gonna be. He's gonna. He's gonna spoon feed it right to them. Let me see, Lord. Just thank you. Um. 
Hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Yeah, here in this, actually it was September 9th, 2021 at 6, 10 a.m. And I was hearing the Lord talking about certain things, but um, one of the things he said, oh my goodness, um, in regards to Anthony Fauci. And, you know, I was seeing him lying on a bed and he had both his legs in, um, I was, I was going to say casts, but they were in caskets, caskets and, uh, his, both his legs in caskets. And I hear the words, I will kill him. And I, and somebody, and it was like an angel, the spirit said, who is that? And somebody said, is it Biden? And then another, another answered and said, no. And then somebody said, is it Fauci? And then the Lord began to speak and he said, Anthony Fauci. And he said, you will lose your steam and you'll be forced to be spoon fed the lies in which you gave out. And, and I mean, many, 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 there's so many that where the Lord's talking about that return to sender, I'm going to make them eat it. That whatever it was that they try to do to you, you know, when, when the Lord sent the plagues on Egypt and Goshen, you know, was, <laughs> you know, Goshen wasn't experiencing the darkness and, and all these things. And some of the things that they were, God was protecting them and, and keeping them. But the thing that he's bringing to me right now is, um, is about the killing of the firstborn. Like, I'm going to kill your firstborn. Um, no matter what their age was, like your firstborn, if you're not, if they're not covered here, then the firstborn is going to die. And it was Pharaoh's, and it was obviously, it was the one that's noted as Pharaoh's child. <sighs> My body's not shaking anymore, but it's like, it was, but it was Pharaoh's son. But you see, God was, Re turning evil back on their own head for what they had done by slaughtering and 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 killing the ba all the babies from the age of three down and all just all of that he's repaying them the, the heap of what they gave out and he felt it personally it was a it personally hurt him and then he died afterward the lord killed him afterwards so he he was made to suffer um but Yes. And then the other thing, thank you, Holy Spirit, is the seven mountain mandate, which we've been, you know, talking about for a long time. Um, a long, long time. Uh, Denise, you said, I've been praying they feel Haman's noose around their neck. Oh, yeah, yeah. So, you know, that's funny that you mentioned Haman because in 2019, before anything really popped off, it might have been 2018. Because Trump was still president and we weren't, and it was no COVID or anything yet. But the Lord, I, the Lord began to say, Haman will hang on his own gallows. And I'm like, I don't know who that is, but we're, you know, yes. Thank you, Lord. I'm just knowing that it's obviously evil, but you see that Haman. Yes, exactly. I just love that you even said that. Thank you for saying that because the Holy Spirit is just, you know, is chiming in again on this. And he's saying in the same way, that's the return to sender. <laughs> because the weapon he constructed and flaunted in in the face of the Jews. Oh my goodness. Oh, the Lord bring me back to Sunday. Back to the message he gave on Sunday, the specific message he began talking about for Esther. When we went through the books of every book of the Bible and talked about Jesus, where he where Jesus is being pictured in, in each. But Esther is. Oh my goodness. And, and I'm all over the place right now because Holy Spirit is telling me like things and I'm trying to say it. <laughs> I feel like uh, Taylor, um, whichever, how do you want me to say it so that it's cohesive and then I'm not just going all over. Okay. So he's bringing back to Esther and how Esther was positioned and Mordecai was like, was likened unto Jesus because how he how he coached her and, and encouraged her and all those things. It's just like how Jesus works through us the same way that how he works through us. 
He's going to get the work done through his people. And it, it was Mordecai was exactly that uh, his life was set up to mirror who Jesus is, even in just like a little fraction of who Jesus is now um, and how he interceded and how he was always at the gate, all those things. And Jesus is our great intercessor. Um, and so Esther was then empowered by his words, right? And so she was like, okay, we're just going to go on that. We're going to go on this fast. We're going to do this to the point of if I die, then I die, but I have to do it. And he even gave her that clarion call that if you do not, like, if you do not raise up and do what I'm, what needs to be done, then the Lord will surely raise up another in your place. Like that warning. And he's given us that warning. That warning, don't turn back. Don't, don't turn back. It's not the time to turn back. It's not the time to, to just get distracted and get off and do all that. It's not the time for that. It's the time to dig, press in. You have to. Um, that same call. What was the other thing you said, Holy Spirit? I make sure I get that. Okay. Yes, yes, yes. Thank you. And how, and back to the whole circle, how the gallows was constructed and it was like a giant because of how huge it was. It was a giant. It was taunting in the face of, of, of the Jews. And they just, you know, and every person, there was a, a whole lot, a law sign, a whole decree that you're going to go and kill them and take all their stuff. Like take all their stuff and, and kill them. It doesn't matter. And it's just going to be a full day of slaughter. And it was like, and written in all these different languages. So, and <laughs> unbelievable but it yeah. it was turned on its head and not, and it wasn't just Haman that hung on the gallows it was Haman and his entire family so in the exact same way how God mirrored with Moses and how he's saying he's talking about how he's going he's he's flipping this he's going to return to sender Lord we thank you we thank you. We thank you. We thank you. Denise said it was 75 feet tall, I believe. I believe you're correct. We thank you, Lord. We thank you. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I hear that, Holy Spirit. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Hallelujah. And the Lord said, remember that it wasn't, it didn't look favorable for Esther. It didn't look favorable for her. King Ahasuerus was not like all in her face and everything. He wasn't calling on her. It was more like he was gone doing his own thing and Haman had his ear. So while it looks like the that uh, that the the world the world <coughs> ear is, is being held by the enemy, it only takes a moment. It only takes a moment and it takes obedience. But God will flip it and turn it. He turned it in an instant. Not only did he save and protect there was a thank you, Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit said there was a spirit of preservation upon Esther. That's how she was able to go in and not be killed. And he saw favor with her. Hallelujah. That's our Luke 2.52. That Jesus increased in favor with man and with God. So we too. So I take that promise and say, well, us too. Us too. We will increase in favor with man and with God. And so with that, with that, Lord, we thank you. We thank you. We thank you. We thank you. Baby, stop. We thank you. The Lord, the Lord just wants you to know that your prayers, they do matter. They are effective and they are going forth and they, they empower the host to go forth. They're, the host is, they are all, all about right now. They are all of their bit and not just right now, today. They've, they've, they've been so many upon the earth. There's a lot of them around, uh, around America. They're all over, but they're, I believe when I was listening, uh, to whenever they had their summit for Oasis and they were, and it was in unison, them talking about the 50 really large angels that are out 50 angels out around uh the united states because there's one for each state just just know god god's not 
<laughs> it does hit max. Yes. Oh my goodness. I'm sorry. I can stop what I'm going to say because the Lord, Papa God just said, remember that I sit on my throne and I laugh at the plans of the enemy. Remember that. Remember that. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Papa. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for that. Your word. So if we, if we can just take that and hold on to it and continue to pray and press, we're going we're gonna to see that other side and you and we won't be in fear. Thank you, Lord. Did anybody have anything else they wanted to add? Hallelujah. I just want to say one thing I, and before I go, because I got to run into my appointment. Um, remember that Haman had to uh, promote Mordecai he had to walk him around and, and eat his words. And, you know, he was um, because he was against Mordecai. And here <laughs> at the end, he had to dress him up and put him on the king's horse and and parade him through. So, um, you know, the enemy will have to do that. We'll have to we'll be promoted. That's right. And that, that actually a prophetic word where the Lord was saying that out of their own mouths, they're going to have to proclaim the truth. That's right. Even though they don't want to. <laughs> so Lord, we thank you. Thanks for adding that. To me. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Did anybody else have anything they wanted to add? That was fantastic too. Yeah. I just wanted to add real quick, um, a scripture that Holy Spirit led me to, um, in case anyone's wondering, you know, well, where does the return to sender come from? I know you went into what happened with Egypt and everything. Um, but in Psalm seven verses 14 through 17, it says, behold, the wicked and irreverent man is pregnant with sin and he conceives mischief and gives birth to lies. He has dug a pit and hollowed it out and has fallen into the very pit, which he made as a trap. His mischief will return on his own head and his violence will come down on the top of his head like loose dirt. I will give thanks to the Lord according to his righteousness and justice. And I will sing praise to the name of the Lord most high. Hallelujah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. We, we're, where we gonna we pray for Margie in the Spirit as well, and anybody else who needed prayer. That's Holy Holy Spirit just led that. So thank you, everybody, for coming. Hallelujah. Be blessed, everybody. Thank you.